What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Scarface. Got another Ross Finds video for you. First of all, let me shout out Sneaker Deals Finder. He's always finding a bunch of stuff, and he'll shout you out too at the same time. So, um, he's always posting like a bunch of dope stuff. I'm gonna put his Instagram link in the description. That way, you guys can go follow him. And uh, also, shout out to the notification gang people like Charlotte Smith, uh, Aldo Ramirez, uh, Colin Zhang. Uh, you know, always commenting first. There's a bunch of others, but I'll only shout out like a like three people you know keep it short anyways let's get into it this past weekend i actually went to uh salt lake and i visited a bunch of different uh, i went to marshall's nordstrom rack and then ross out there too as well so it's going to be a little mixture of like my local ross and also like things i've been finding out there as well uh these pennies were dope the heat colorway and um a lot of people have been asking me you know like uh I've been finding a bunch of different shoes, soccer balls, the socks have been, I think I bought like almost 80 pairs of socks and yes, I've been selling them. Uh, some people are like, oh, they're not selling this, this and that. You just got to know how to sell the stuff. Um, these ninja hoodies have been popping up again. So if you ever see these 120 and they're usually for like 34 or 39.99, which is not a bad price actually. So uh, a lot of jackets like windbreaker type of jackets have been showing up lately so make sure you check out sometimes they put them in the the other areas the the regular jacket area i i found a bunch of bunch of jackets over there as you can see this one retails for 130 i think i believe and for 39.99 not bad um, a lot of adidas like nba stuff has been showing up as well uh just in case you know you're into the team like these were 13.99 a piece like which is a steal um and then just like regular adidas track suits jackets and stuff like that um i, I passed on a lot of these also tims um different types of tims have been showing up still like 70 80 dollar range which is not bad compared to retail which is usually about like 180 190 um still looking for these in my size uh, i need a at least a 10 maybe nine and a half depending uh, I've been finding big sizes. I think these were 11. Um, and uh, back to the NBA stuff, uh, like the NBA socks have been showing up. A bunch of jerseys have been showing up as well too. So make sure you, you know, keep an eye out for that stuff as well, because it's it's coming super cheap since the NBA switched over to Nike. A lot of the stuff is going pretty cheap now. So uh, the socks are worth $1.99 each. Which check out my eBay or my Instagram. Uh, links will be in the description that way you guys can go if you guys want to cop anything here's some more jackets i've been finding like this shirt 3.99 it was a thunder uh it was a kd thunder shirt which was you know if you're a kd fan but you know he's no longer on the thunder and then just regular like jackets like lightweight windbreakers for adidas have been showing up as well and then also a bunch of dunks have been showing up like these all red ones i wish they were my size but um you know that's what happens when you shop at ross darts um these look the, well they, they were gs i think or size 7 but they look like women's uh for some reason they had a women feel to it and then a bunch of jordan jackets as well have been showing up these ones were um like 70 80 bucks but they retail for like 3 180 vest as well this vest was pretty dope um but you know i i, I passed on them just because I looked them up online and they weren't really selling for that much, so I left them for somebody else to, you know, personal cop them. Because um, there was just no resale value in those, so. But they were dope either way, and not my size. I should have bought these for myself, you know, been flexing at this. That, nah, that's way too much sauce. Way too much sauce for me. You know, I would have been getting all the girls with those. As soon as you walk by a girl, you know, they would have got wet. I'm just joking guys but anyways this was in salt lake um they had a bunch of hayward jerseys but hayward's not even on the team so I, I passed on those they've been getting a bunch of jackets as well too i was hoping to come up like on uh the shorts i've seen i've been seeing like a lot of people getting been copping the shorts the the basketball team shorts you know uh, I, I want some for my personal collection i probably need a medium or a large not too sure a bunch of nef has also been showing up uh, i copped the um, if anyone saw the Di the Disney slash Neff collab, I've been getting some of those, and then like some guests. Also, Coach has been showing up. A bunch of different stuff. Some forces. Um, they also had some more Tims. Um, I've been looking for 
I know some people that want some, so I've been trying to get them, but that's the downfall of uh, Ross is you can never find the right sizes, or it's, when you come up with a size, it's kind of hard to, um, some more forces right there. Also found these cleats, the hy Hyper Venoms, um, you know, Hyper Venom Phantoms. Uh, these are listed on my eBay, so if anyone's interested, this Brazil, Brazil jacket, Brazil, um, retail was 350 on it, and then 119 a little high price, I wish it was cheaper, and then I would have cop to resell, but, you know, you can't, you can't win them all. This was at Marshall, so Marshall's usually has a little bit higher prices than than Ross, so that's why it was a little bit more pricey. If it was Ross, it would probably have been like maybe $20, $30 cheaper. Um, USA jacket also popping up. Back to the, the, the prices and stuff, um, I, I still haven't figured out you know how people price things or different stores um you know it's kind of hard this was at nordstrom rack a bunch of like asics have been showing up there well showing up it's not like i know this is my, my second time going to nordstrom rack those were like some flyknit adidas superstars were pretty dope passed on them though they've had a bunch of tims too a bunch of like different vans dress shoes i mean if you're really into the dress shoes i think you hit up a Nordstrom rack they got some great deals on dress shoes this is uh, some Clydes uh, Puma Clydes uh, I don't know if you guys saw in my recent video that I had the I bought the shirt almost similar I was thinking about getting them but I ended up just passing on because I bought some other stuff I'm gonna make a video of the stuff that I did buy from when I went to Salt Lake just a quick little you know they just got a bunch of different stuff different sizes I thought these were pretty dope. They almost look like boots, perfect win for winter. A lot of Fenty slash Rihanna shoes have been popping up. So if you're into those or know a girl that's into them, I think they're girls. They were in the men's section, but uh, you never know. Like I wouldn't wear those, but personally, some Nike Cortez. I, I think I wanna. I've been wanting to cop some. I just don't want to look like a cholo. You know what I mean? So I, I think I just gotta find the right color. Um. Uh, Cause I know uh, Kendrick Lamar, he's been wearing them a lot, and they look pretty dope when he wears them. So I was thinking about copying me a pair too as well. Uh, this Space Jam jer or jersey, not jersey, but T-shirt. This was pretty dope. Uh, I passed on it too, just because I can't see myself wearing it. Uh, so I left it. This is some more like Adidas. It was like a sweatshirt slash jacket, and then this jacket was all at Ross. I should have picked it up, but I left it at retail, like at 350. It's a Le LeBron jacket, like almost puffy. And then some tech fleece um, tanks have been showing up. These were pretty dope, but I, I this was at the Ross here. They're a little big. These were XLs, but they looked like double, maybe even triple. They were really big and wide, so I would probably need a small or a medium in these. So, and then a bunch of more tech fleece pants have been showing up as well. Uh, I, I seen these in gray and a bunch of different colors, which 30 bucks is not bad for a hundred for a hundred dollars. So uh, I already got a black and a gray color, so I, I passed on these, and not so great on resale value. So also some Adidas like track pants have been showing up as well too, and then like the three quarter jogger type of pants have been showing up as well too. So if you're into those, you know try to check your local Ross or TJ Maxx or even Marshalls they all been showing up the only place I haven't been to is the Burlington's or um, what's the other one that DDS discount store whatever uh, I've seen a lot of people find you know some good stuff there too but we don't have anywhere any of those close by I think I did go to one in Washington with my cousin but it, they really didn't have a lot of stuff they had a lot of Timberland stuff but like jackets, uh, gloves, and stuff like that. This Puma jacket. A lot of Puma. People keep sleeping on Puma. I don't know why. They have like a lot of dope stuff. If you ever see like a dope jacket or anything like that, like see this retails at two twenty for thirty four ninety nine. You know that's a steal. And then the quality is really good quality. So just give it a shot next time. You know you see some Puma stuff. Give it a try. Try it on. See if you like it. Um, I like it a lot. I have a lot of Puma stuff. Um, these jacks have been showing up as well too. Two thirty for sixty nine ninety nine is not bad. Um, not so great on resale. So if you're into looking to resell these, uh, it's not so great. 
I was looking them up online and they don't flip too well. Uh, some more like I think these were more of a like a track jacket, but you know, 80 bucks for 29.99 is not bad. Um, I, I personally wasn't feeling them, so I didn't cop them. And then some a lot of North Face and Champion jackets have been showing up too as well. I haven't been able to get them all. And I think I just have one more jack to show you guys. This is a North Face one. So give it, this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, challenge videos are coming soon. And I'll see you guys later.